Welcome to our first episode of Somatic Sociology. You are tapping in to the root of the symmetry. You are tuning in to the mind of Mercury. And I am your boy, Tehuti Hermes Trismegistus. And this first episode of Somatic Sociology is really important. It is so near and dear to my heart. And I wish so deeply that I got screenshots for this episode. I wish I did better documentarian work. So this is me just addressing the news, addressing the topic at hand with my perspective, with my words, and then we can build upon it from there. I wish I took screenshots so that I could just have the visuals of me showing you what I'm about to be talking about today, which is YouTube. Why is YouTube removing the dislike button? And it's already happened. So if you go onto YouTube right now, at least as of what is it, November 20th, uh, 2021, maybe they'll change it. Who knows? But as of right now, November 20th, 2021, YouTube has removed the ability for you to see the dicks likes on a video. <laughs> YouTube has removed the ability for you to see the dislikes on a video. So this is where I have to address. I'm like, this is insane. And this first episode of Somatic Sociology is going to be me sharing as symmetry my somatic experience socializing with YouTube throughout my whole life. And then me being somatic and reflecting upon why YouTube would want to socialize a different way. Why is YouTube from out of nowhere and not out of nowhere, <laughs> we are getting to that, but out of nowhere, saying that we can't see dislikes anymore. From my whole lifetime as Chase, I'm 24. My whole time on YouTube, you've been able to see the dislike number on a video. The whole point of being able to see likes and dislikes is so that when you click on a video, when you're hopping into this vibration, hopping into this simulated movie then, you at least know if it's worth it or not, right? So when you click on a video and you're about to project your mind into this new reality, you can look at these numbers and figure out if it's literally worth your time or not. You know that if the video has a lot of dislikes, it's probably not worth your time. Or at the very least, it's extremely controversial and extremely hated. So whatever the video is, if it has a lot of dislikes, it means that the people who are watching it don't agree with it. Okay, so this is really important. When we look at YouTube as a whole platform, just like me like using YouTube my whole life, the point of the dislike button was for everyone, all of us as a public, all of us as the universe, to be able to vote on which simulations are worth plugging into or not. So if this video is not worth observing, then you can rate it a dislike. And then everyone else who comes after you can look at the video, see the dislikes, see the likes, and figure out if people actually agree with it or just know that they're connected in a greater way. Because this is the other thing that the dislike button does. To take away the ability after so many years, oh my gosh, to take away the ability for all of us as a public, for us as the universe, the people who make the internet possible, the people who make the internet real, the people who make the internet matter, for us to not be able to see our own dislikes on a video is nothing short of censorship. So this is the point of somatic sociology, our whole series here, where we are investigating all the way spirits socialize. So we're being somatic. Somatic is us practicing simicism, which is the watery polar opposite of 
my fiery principles of hermeticism, where once we know that life is intentional, we can reflect upon the intentions of everything around us. And now we can gain way more wisdom based on how we're connecting with the hermetic intentions of everything that's being built around us. So this is where with hermeticism, we know that life is intentional. We are creating life because we're choosing to express ourselves. The other side of cynicism is knowing that nothing is a coincidence. Spirit is a coincidence. So when you are observing or intentionally being aware of anything, it's going to be a reflection of your spirit and it's going to be connected to your space because you as a spirit are the coincidence. That's why nothing is a coincidence because you are nothing. And thus everything that comes out of nothing is intentional. So this is the flip then of knowing that as a spirit, you create through hermetic principles and then you experience life through somatic principles. So here we are with somatic sociology where we're talking about how we connect and communicate with a platform that we are not creating. So other spirits are using hermetic principles to create this platform to project out this fire. All of us as a universe, we feel like making their projections real, which then means that we connect with the internet. We connect with the ideas that are being put out into our space. So then we're using our water, we're using our womb to accept the projections of these videos. So that's how YouTube works. That's how the internet works, right? The people who make the internet, they're in their hermetic principles. They're being hermetic in terms of intentionally creating life and intentionally doing things so that they can do something else. And they're just using all the laws and logic involved with that, all that thought, Hermes energy to figure out how they can communicate in a way that builds a system that supports them. And of course they know that they can't build a system alone. So that's where they're the Hermes. They are the fire. We are the symmetry. We are the nature. We're the balance. We're the water that brings life to their fire. So now once their fire projects into our water, now we have communication. We have air. That's the point of YouTube. That's the point of the internet in general. The people who made the internet want to be able to project all the ideas that they want us to believe into our space. Meanwhile, they have the freedom to do whatever they want. And we are here being limited to communicating inside of the platforms that they have projected into our spaces. And this is the whole thing of <clears throat> just systems in general. Whenever you are connecting to something that you did not create, just know that you are nourishing a system that basically isn't for you. And the there's I, from everything I've seen from all of my travels in the universe as Mercury, as Hermes, as Tahuti, as Chase Clarence Calloway, as tripling my sea with my caduceus and flying around through all simulations. If there's anything that I can truly tell you, it's that the only business, the only simulation the only situation, the only corporation that is ever going to support you is one that you built yourself. So for example, your body, this body, I built this body myself. I'm working with cells right now. Spirits are piloting all the cells in my body to make sure we're communicating. That's all a blueprint of my soul though. Like the only reason that all these spirits are able to harmonize and communicate in a way that builds this structure is because my soul is connected in certain ways. So this is why all of us, we can resonate in certain ways. We're all completely infinitely individual from each other, but because we've connected with ourselves in ways that can resonate with the way that others have connected with themselves, we can create the situation where we all connect together. And now we're all in one body of water. So that's the point of the symmetry and in general, me bringing an awareness to the fact that we are water turning into air. We are connecting and from our subconscious connections, we are consciously communicating life into existence. This is the purpose of somatic sociology and just the purpose of me 
being called away from Mercury to plant a symmetry here and share everything because I didn't go through all these life experiences for nothing. It's Chase. Every single day that I've gone through matters. <laughs> Everything that I have gone through matters. All right. So for me to have gone through being raised on YouTube, right? Like my whole life, I'm 24 years old. I can't think of a time on the internet where I was not connected to YouTube. We've had a dislike button. The whole point of public opinion of being able to rate like or dislike is that we can see who actually resonates with the video or not and if we're going to waste our time now yes youtube did have a point they had a star system first so like they did have like the stars which is also cool you know to be like hey one star video two star video two and a half star three star video four star video so that this was already a thing when they're like okay we're not going to do stars anymore. It's going to be likes and dislikes. And so for most of YouTube's life, it's been likes and dislikes. I remember it started with like stars or at the very least when I hopped on to YouTube, they had stars and then they changed the likes and dislikes. But that was fine because the whole point is that everyone has a vote. So each video is like, oh, here, you know, 2000 likes, 300 dislikes. And then it's just funny, like videos always have dislikes. So Here's the thing, the only reason, the only reason why YouTube would get rid of the dislike button, the only reason from all of this time of them having the dislike button, and of course they have the dislike button, the whole reason why YouTube would remove the ability for us to see how many people have disliked a video is because they're releasing videos that are getting disliked. <laughs> So it is like, it's literally that simple from a somatic sociological place, from a place of me being wise enough to know that spirits only build systems that support themselves, but they have to convince the spirits that are making those systems possible that they support them as well. So for example, the only reason that Americans support the slavery of indigenous peoples is because they feel like the government is supporting them in a way that they wouldn't be supported otherwise, right? So the only reason people vote for the genocide of indigenous peoples and people go to war for the genocide of indigenous peoples and people are happy to praise Jesus so that they can continue indulging in a genocide of indigenous peoples is all about people being connected to something that they think is serving them because they were taught by that thing that it is serving them. And that's just the logic of then how a system, if a system can convince you to support the genocide of others, I promise you on a vibrational level, they are making you support your own genocide. So this is the issue with white people supporting the slavery and genocide and rape of black people. It literally just means that white people are agreeing that they can get raped and murdered and enslaved as well. And that's what money is. And so this is like all America has been. <laughs> you see, like we, we see this because the whole thing is that black people are indigenous peoples who had their land stolen from them and they've had their culture stolen from them. And now they're be lack because they don't have money. So white people have money, but money doesn't exist. Money only matters because white people enslaved black people and black people have all this nature. They have all this gold. They have all these resources. They have all these minerals. They have all this technology. They have vibranium that white people want. So white people make up money so that they can steal everything that actually matters and use money to create the idea that the people that they're raping don't matter. So now, they're going out of their way to rape and destroy indigenous peoples underneath the logic that they don't matter. And it's like, if they didn't matter, then you wouldn't be forcibly trying to connect with them. Like, so obviously spirits use logic to do what they want. So let's look at why YouTube, let's look at the logic that YouTube is putting out as to why they're saying that they're getting rid of our ability to look at the dislike number. Because once we look at their logic, we're going to have a greater perspective based on us 
knowing that life is hermetic and somatic and that spirits do what they want and they need to convince you that they're supporting you so that they'll actually make you support them, we'll be able to have a clear perspective on why YouTube actually removed this. And I'll get into that. YouTube today announced its decision to make the dislike count on videos private across its platform. The decision is likely to be controversial given the extent that it impacts the public's visibility into a video's reception. Right. But YouTube believes the change will better protect its creators from harassment and reduce the threat of what it calls dislike attacks. So if you're a creator on YouTube, chances are you know that YouTube doesn't actually care about you. Like, especially if you're a small creator, you're a small business, everyone knows that YouTube does not care about them. Like, if you've been on YouTube long enough as a creator, you know that you don't really have rights. Like, you know that you're using a platform that can do whatever it wants with your content and not give you any reason for it. I mean, it's the same with TikTok. I just got done fasting for 19 days straight and my TikTok symmetry got banned. And I don't even have any reasons. They didn't give me real reasons and I can't get it back because they don't have to communicate like that. See how the systems work? This is literally life. You can put all of your soul into a corporation, into a business for 50 years and they will tell you every day, oh, you're our family. You're part of us. We love you. And they're literally just saying words so that you will do what they want you to do. That's like the law. I mean, that's literally how Americans have stolen land from indigenous peoples anyway. This, the only reason the United States even exists in the first place is because 375 treaties were broken with Native Americans where each and every single time these European colonizing invaders were using words like, oh, friendship, oh, camaraderie, oh, we'll stop consuming and colonizing your land. And they only ever said these nice things with the intentions of taking more. Like when we know that every single treaty in that was created, every single treaty that was created to make the United States possible was created with the pure intention of being broken, then we can learn a lot about our government. Okay? Like we can... This is why, like, people are so not intelligent when they don't care about history. Like, my big awakening as Chase was I've always cared about history in the past because I know that everything we're experiencing right now is only possible because of what was done before. Like, the only reason we're able to communicate is because we have a past with this language. And this language has a past as to how we even got into this land. So when people aren't aware that this government, like the US government and the world government even, like the British government, is completely reliant on using logic to take over shit that is not theirs. They're reliant on using the law to take over land that is not theirs. They're reliant on creating a contract that says, hey, we've made all this language and if you sign it, then that's you agreeing to our terms and conditions then cool, but they can break that any time. And we see that with Facebook, right? We see that with all these apps. Like we can sign terms and conditions. They'll say they'll protect our privacy. Guess what? They don't. They sell our information so that they can make more money off of our minds. And all we can do is what? What are we gonna do, right? Because we could build our own stuff. Most people are too lazy to do that. Most people are just going to keep connecting on a platform, right? Most people are going to see Facebook be evil, but be okay that they're evil because now they changed their name to Meta and they're providing virtual reality and everyone just wants to connect. So these spirits, these white supremacist organizations, when they know that indigenous people just want to connect, that's why they can use love. They can use L, they can use logic, they can use law, they can use language, they can use light in general to manipulate how we feel. That's the whole point of words, that's the whole point of the internet, it's the whole point of videos, it's the whole point of us communicating with light at all. We're all manipulating 
how we feel. First, we have to manipulate how we feel about ourselves so that we could even communicate our feelings into existence. And then from there, it's a whole game of like us projecting how do we think a spirit outside of us is going to feel based on our subconscious and see like this is like an infinite mental game then it like it, it's like infinite mental brain power to like start to play at those levels where it just like constantly expands so we're keeping it simple with hermeticism we know looking at the history of the united states looking at the history of these governments and these technological white supremacist corporations we know that they're reliant on stealing everything they possibly can with light and creating contracts, creating language, creating technology that allows them to project out what they want and make you, make us, make everyone that they're projecting their light into react to them. And then that's how they create life. So now we get to be born into this world, have a social security number put on us and then we're constantly having words projected into our space, ideas projected into our space. And all we can do is react to them to then create the world for the people who are projecting these ideas. So cynicism is you being in your water reflecting. Hermeticism is the spirits who are projecting. So that's the fire versus the water. The water reflects the projections of the fire. And this is how we create air. And it's a constant balance. So YouTube is putting out the hermetic idea that they are getting rid of the visibility of the dislike button because they care about you, right? Like that's them weaponizing hermeticism. They're like, okay, hey, we're changing the way we communicate because we care about you. We're creating a new system of interaction because we care about you and so they're creating this logic of like hey we believe the change will better protect our creators from harassment and reduce the threat of dislike attacks which is when a group teams up to drive up the number of dislikes a video receives the company says that while dislike counts won't be visible to the public it's not removing the dislike button itself Users can still click the thumbs down button on videos to signal their dislike to creators privately. So what good does that do? Like, what good does that do when we know that the dislike button is so you can know when you're going into a video if it's worth it or not? The whole point of you being able to see the number of dislikes on a video is to feel connected and be connected with everyone who watched the video. Like, literally, that's the point of seeing those numbers down there. Like, you see how many people liked the video and how many people disliked the video. You get to feel connected with all these spirits through these numbers. And then you're like, oh, wow, that's a lot of people who disliked the video. Like, I wonder why. So for them to take this away is really messed up. Because the whole point of them taking this dislike number away is to disconnect everyone who's watching the video. So now anytime you're watching a YouTube video, you don't feel like you're connected to the people who rated it. You're forced to react to the projections the video is putting into your space. All you, the fact that they're still letting us see the numbers of likes, but we can't see the numbers of dislikes. This is literally the epitome. The only reason we're now we'll get into it. I know because <laughs> I mean, I'm taking a little bit. The only reason that YouTube is doing this is because they are releasing videos that are supposed to make them money. So YouTube has always been a platform about us as creators, all of us as the universe being able to use this simulation that they hermetically set up to then somatically connect and communicate, which then builds a structure. And now we're all working together. YouTube gets to host the platform that makes spirits connecting possible. Spirits get to connect and communicate inside of something that makes sense and supports them. And we're creating life together. Beautiful. It is only in this past year and a half, it's only since the pandemic that YouTube has started releasing news videos and YouTube has started to go really hard with censoring people 
who talk about the pandemic, which makes no sense. Like just objectively, like objectively in any way, shape or form, if we are going through a collective pandemic as a globe, as a collective, how come we can't talk about it freely? Like, why is the same government that's telling all of us that we're going through a global pandemic working so hard to make sure that we can't communicate about it? Because this is all it's about is coronavirus. YouTube started releasing videos selling coronavirus. And it was remarkable, like going through this pandemic and watching YouTube change. And watching YouTube, like the homepage, all of a sudden, like there's a permanent strip for just coronavirus news. And then they started censoring and taking down videos of anyone who is not a news station. So if you're a normal person who's not getting paid or you're not connected to the system, you're not allowed to talk about the pandemic that you're going through. You're not allowed to talk about the world and what you see. Only people who are getting paid to present things a certain way are allowed to present them. And the platform that used to at least be the people's platform, because those are news stations, then got bought by the news. So YouTube got bought. And as far as like <laughs> B-O-T, literally YouTube became a bot the moment it got bought. And then it just like, the algorithms changed. And it's all about selling fear now. So coronavirus, the whole idea is, hey, it's dangerous to breathe air. And the only way that you're going to be safe breathing air is if you get injections from the people who are telling you it's dangerous to breathe air. So the same people who are telling you that life is dangerous, life is scary, you can only connect through the internet, they are also making all their money off of making you believe that the only way you can be healthy is to let them use Chase Calloway's caduceus through the medical industry to alchemize your blood into heavy metals. <laughs> Like, they're so obsessed. Like, we need to get these heavy metal injections into you. We need to, like, keep injecting you. And, like, this is actually health now. This is what it means to be healthy. Don't breathe air. Don't drink water. Keep eating fast food. And let us inject you with heavy metals. And live in a vibrational state of fear. So, these videos are hilarious. Because over this year and a half, these two years now, over, like, these two years of being in this pandemic and watching YouTube change. YouTube, like the page would become just, uh, before it was about creators, as far as actual people, then it became corporations. So YouTube is corporate, like that's what it is. Like YouTube got bought by corporate. It started out as being about the community, but naturally communities get colonized by cash, it seems and people wanting to make money off of how community communicates. So YouTube wants to make money off of how we as a community communicate by separating us from being able to see who dislikes videos. And the reason they're doing this is because their coronavirus videos were getting so massively disliked. It was comedy. Like, it was actually impossible to take their coronavirus news serious anymore because every time they're like, when they changed the platform, like it was, it's impossible now to hop onto the home screen and not see a bunch of stuff on coronavirus. So now these past two years has been like, I hop onto YouTube and I'm constantly like blasted with all these videos from news sites, right? From like actual corporations, not real people, not real people. Those videos get taken down. I used to watch those videos. I can't find them anymore. Hashtag film your hospital. There were so many awesome videos of people, Republicans, Democrats, white, black, just Americans all across these states filming their hospitals because the news would tell them that the hospitals are full of dying people. The news would tell them that the hospitals are full of body bags and that everyone is going through the worst time ever. Then when real people would watch the news and go down to those hospitals, the hospitals are empty. The hospitals don't look at all like they said they are in the news and the hospitals have actually nothing going on. And it's pretty weird that a lot of these videos are taken down. Like how come people can't watch the news tell them that hospitals are flooded with death, but then when they go down to record that, that's wrong. 
Like, it makes no sense, except from the hermetic perspective of knowing that these platforms and these systems are created to actually limit us and make money off of harvesting our chi. Like, it doesn't make sense from a somatic perspective, but from a hermetic perspective of, oh, snap, everything's intentional, it makes complete sense. The only reason that you as a platform would be okay broadcasting that hospitals are full of dying people, but you're not okay with the people that you're broadcasting that to uploading their own videos about how the hospitals are actually not. The only reason you would do that is because you're actively selling coronavirus. <laughs> Duh. Like you're actively selling the ideas of fear and the ideas of genocide and the ideas of you can die if you breathe air and we need to make everyone be as scared as possible and we'll lie to do it. Again, this is how not just the United States was taken over, but all of the lands in North, South and Central America were taken over by this same mentality, by spirits using logic, using language to say that they are going to put this boundary down for you when in reality they're doing it for themselves. And in reality, that boundary is going to keep pushing and pushing until you don't have land left. So before you, you were happy on your land, but now this tech company comes in like, hey, we actually need your land. And here, we promise we're only going to take this much and you'll be protected. And the moment you agree to that, you're in hell because they don't respect their own rules. Whoever is imposing rules on you is not respecting their own rules because they are the creators of the rules. Like it's the same reason why rich people and in general the legal system advocates that you can murder, steal, rape, do whatever you want as long as you have the money to pay off the fine. Because the whole point is that money is what actually stole all of indigenous people's freedom in the first place. So if you have money, you're allowed to keep stealing people's freedom. You're allowed to rape, murder, and control whoever you want. You're allowed to do all the evil things you want as long as you have money because the point of people creating money was to do that. <laughs> now, I mean, it's, you see it, like, obviously. Like, this is why the legal system runs on money because it was made to support money. So YouTube now runs on fear and coronavirus and corporations projecting ideas into our space that make us feel disconnected from one another. So... When they're putting out all these videos that people are disproving and they are actively shutting down real people's videos so that they can keep the lies up, it's clear to me, obviously, that the business here is using my caduceus in the medical industry to actually create health problems inside of people. So instead of teaching people how to fast and teaching people how to be healthy, we're living in a world where they actively poison the air, actively poison the water, actively poison our food, actively feed us garbage and teach us that the only way we can be healthy is to breathe as little as possible, go outside as little as possible and get their injections as much as possible. And we don't know what their injections are other than straight up heavy metals. I know their injections are heavy metals and I know that through all of my fasting, I just did 19 days. I do not need anyone's mystery fluids inside of my body to be healthy. The moment you're trying to convince me that I need your shot in order to be healthy, I, as an intelligent spirit, am literally watching a situation play out where if I let you inject me with your fluid, I know that I'm going to create the disease that you're telling me you're protecting me from. And that's all this is about, is them working really hard to inject us with stuff that they're saying is in the air so that they can create the disease that they're projecting into our spaces actually inside of our bodies. So it's really hard to be scared of coronavirus and it's really hard to take all of their constant fear mongering seriously when people started to get woke and people started hitting that dislike button. Like, people, like like I would I was starting to crack up. This is why I'm making this the first episode of somatic sociology, because this is pretty wild that people were disliking YouTube's coronavirus videos so much that YouTube has to lie and say that they're going to remove the ability to see how many people hit the dislike button 
so that they can protect small creators. Like, it's, like, so laughable just how obviously they're lying in order to oppress us <laughs> and create health problems inside of our bodies. Like, literally. Like, it's just, it's remarkable how obviously they're lying in order to poison us. And they're literally creating this idea like, oh, we actually want to protect creators. What? You want to protect creators from the dislike button? Bro, again, if you talk to any creator, any small creator on YouTube, no one feels protected by YouTube. No one feels supported by YouTube. And this is less support. You not being able to see the dislike vi like counts on videos and stuff, that does not serve anyone but people who are having their videos disliked a lot. Because now the fact is, you can, re like, let's say YouTube releases another news coronavirus video, because this was like so many of their videos where they're just like, why do black people need to get the vaccine? What do black people have to say about the vaccine? Why is the vaccine safe for black people? How are we going to get the vaccine for kids? And it's just like constant, just like putting out all this stuff about coronavirus every day. They're making so much money monetizing this content. And again, this is a pandemic that we're all going through as a globe, yet for some reason, only people who are getting paid inside of corporations have the authority to talk about it. That's not human, right? Like that's not organic. That's not natural. Like if we're all sick, if we're all going through bad things in the world, then we should be able to freely communicate about it. Because in reality, if we were really going through a pandemic that the government didn't understand, they would want us to communicate about it so they can understand. So it's clearly the complete opposite where they don't want us to understand the pandemic. So we can't communicate freely about it. That's why all these platforms are obsessed with censoring anyone speaking about coronavirus. Like literally, like the whole point is them creating this idea that allows them to censor everyone who is now talking about it. So, I mean, we'll see how this video goes, whatever. I'm, I'm the God of truth. So, look, I can use a different word uh, and I probably will for the future. Like, I don't care about this video here specifically like getting censored because I mean we're here so I'm it's just for the future I could be like Mahona virus <laughs> Masona virus because the point is this AI algorithm is like constantly listening the whole point of like big brother and technology is to constantly listen so that they can keep people separate and like keep all of our minds categorized in a specific way in a certain literally algorithm like you could literally meet someone in real life and they have a YouTube account and if the government does not want you to to connect then they could literally use the algorithms to block your accounts from each other so that even though you can connect in real life you can't connect on the internet so that I've gone through this <laughs> of like literally like meeting someone where they can like connect with all these other people and I can connect with the same people they can and we like all have the social media but for some reason we can't see each other's social media profiles and it's like happened in like weird instances where it's like there's no reason that we would not be able to see each other's social media profiles uh, profiles especially when we have the same friends so what's up here like what's up with the algorithm that we our accounts are for some reason not allowed to connect it's so weird. There's, it's so weird. So again, the, like we know that we are living in this time. We are on systems. We're working with an internet system that is being built for us. Being built for us to support. We're supporting the internet. Like This is why we can't openly talk about the pandemic that we're going through. We're supposed to support the pandemic by reacting to the ideas that the government is telling us. The government is projecting out these things into our space and they don't want us to be able to see how many people dislike the videos because all these videos like it's like so comedy. I would laugh so much like just these past like months and everything uh, <laughs> when I would hop onto my YouTube page. And if I did decide to click on one of their news videos, I like that dislike counter because it used to be bars. So literally... 
it could be a news video where it's like they're just talking about, hey, you know, you need to get the shot and you need to get two boosters. Like, oh, booster approved. Like, they had so many videos talking about, like, Pfizer booster approved, Johnson Johnson booster approved, this one uh, is actually down. Oh, just all that stuff. Again, making money, right? And these dislikes would be off the charts. Like, I've never seen more dislikes on videos consistently than what I've seen on the coronavirus videos that YouTube was releasing, that new sites were releasing through YouTube, that corporations are releasing through YouTube. I've never seen more dislikes consistently on anything in my life, anywhere, than when YouTube has been releasing all these coronavirus videos like this. So intelligently, right, making connections, we can see that this is a lie when YouTube says that their goal, their point of doing this is to protect creators' well-being. The only reason that the dislike button is gone is because these coronavirus videos that YouTube was releasing, they would get like literally 300 likes, a thousand likes, you know, 2,000 likes, bro, like 10,000 dislikes straight up, like 20,000 dislikes straight up. I wish I got screenshots. This, they made the change too fast. I wasn't able to get the screenshots. So just know this is why. <laughs> like there's, there's no other reason for them to have taken away the dislike button other than the fact that they are reliant on making money by pushing out fear. And it's hard for people to be fearful of all these coronavirus videos when the public is voting with the dislike button. So you can see like, okay, this coronavirus video wants me to be scared and it wants me to believe I shouldn't breathe the air. It wants me to believe that I need an injection to keep living and to be healthy. And the only way that we can live in general is to let the people telling us not to breathe air to inject us with their heavy metals. Yet I can see that everyone dislikes this. <laughs> so like I'm supposed to be scared of this video from these people telling me that I need their injection to be healthy. Yet I can also see that 20,000 plus people, 30,000 plus people Basically, everyone who's watching this video, everyone who's rated, has disliked it. Like, that like little bar is so small compared to just how huge the dislike bar is. This is why they remove dislikes. Okay? So, for us to reflect and know about, you know, just where we are in the universe with somatic sociology, what can we learn from this? What we have learned here is that YouTube removed the dislike button because they want to sell coronavirus. They want to sell fear. Humans don't like fear. So we're going to dislike videos that are irrationally selling us fear. So if people that are constantly trying to sell us fear want to keep doing that, they have to change the system. They have to silence our voice. They have, literally they have to silence our voice it's the same thing i can't breathe i can't dislike the button i can't voice my opinion except for when i vote once every four years for one of two candidates that are both working for the same exact genocidal organization so the whole point of getting rid of the dislike button is so that we, as the universe, as the somatic universe, reacting to their hermetic intentions, we don't have a voice. We don't get to show and connect on what we actually resonate with. They only took away the dislike button because their videos that they make money on were getting disliked so heavily that they almost certainly did not feel like they're making as much money as they could be if they just removed the dislike button. Like, that's literally, like, their business decision in the back. Like, okay, like, we're making money, but 
people are looking at these dislikes and we know that people are definitely not resonating with our videos the more that they see they're disliked by everyone watching them. So how do we create the situation where we can keep releasing coronavirus videos while stopping people from being able to see how many people dislike these coronavirus videos? This, and this is YouTube solution, removing the dislike button. So. This has been Somatic Sociology. I'm your boy, Sudi Trismegistus. We will use this wisdom to connect with ourselves even deeper. We can reflect even deeper upon our place in the universe. And we can use all this information to learn about ourselves and learn about what kind of simulations do we want to build? What kind of social media do you want to build? What sort of organizations do you want to spearhead? Like, what do you want to bring into the universe? Because clearly we're only able to communicate based on what other spirits brought into the universe. And that's them in their hermetic properties, bringing stuff into the universe. And then we're in our somatic properties, using the stuff that was brought into the universe to be able to connect with each other. That's like the people who made English are hermetic. Us, everyone who speaks English is somatic. So what can we learn from being somatic so that we can then get into our hermetic energy and actually create systems that support our spirits. See you later. Yeah.